past decade, Friends of the Garden has hosted its annual Butterfly Festival. This year, things are going to look a lot different due to the coronavirus pandemic. Executive Director Trista Herzog joins us now to talk about this year's online Butterfly Festival. Trista, thank you so much for being here. Hi, thanks for having me. So Trista, what changes can people expect this year? Well, traditionally we would have an on-site event uh, one Saturday in June where uh, people could come out and do activities and uh, learn so much about butterflies and visit our butterfly house. So this year, of course, we needed to do something a little differently so that we could space out the number, number of people that came to the park to enjoy the butterflies. So uh, we'll have online events uh, on our website, friendsofthegarden.org forward slash butterfly festival, and on our social media pages at Friends of the Garden. And so uh, we'll do activities with Young Sprouts, which is a master gardeners group uh, who tip typically would do education for us. And tours here in the butterfly house that's where i'm at today and um so you can kind of see around uh people can come out and enjoy that until 6 p.m uh from 10 to 6 uh, each day this week and, and beyond so uh we really had hoped to bring education to the community about pollinators and especially butterflies they're very integral to our environment and a cornerstone really of what we do out here at the springfield botanical garden so what's the importance of this festival? I know you said that you teach people about butterflies and what they do for, um, for us. Uh, can you tell me a little bit more about the importance of that? Absolutely. So uh, it's so important, especially when you're talking about planting um, for biodiversity. So native plantings, and I can show you a few things here, uh, such as the coneflower. So when you're planting your gardens, you want something kind of like this, um, very beautiful still, not exotic like a lot of the plants you might see, but native to our area because that brings butterflies in and educating the public about that aspect and about the butterflies here in Missouri and in our region. Um, they carry pollen from plant to plant so that uh, our environment, our soil quality is good, our air quality can be maintained and, uh, and of course uh, populating uh, the, the region with beautiful plants um, that's beneficial to our environment. Uh, we know that they're in danger, a lot of our pollinators, bees, butterflies, and what have you, and moths. So uh, the, mo the more education that we can give to make sure people respect and want to be good stewards of that uh, is a really uh, great thing for us and a great thing for our, our region. And this year you're partnering with uh, Young Sprouts in the Garden for some educational activities. What's yes. that going to look like? So a lot of these things are going to be um, crafts. So today um, we had a video to show people how to do button caterpillars. So using a tongue depressor or popsicle stick and gluing uh, buttons on. So and these are just fun activities for kids that normally there would be stations out here on the day of the festival. Uh, for kids to be able to enjoy. So still bringing them in and uh, in that way from home and giving them an activity that's hopefully fun and exciting, but also uh, a component of education too. So each each post will have a link to uh, something about uh, caterpillars or metamorphosis so that uh, the kids can learn a little bit about that. And the festival is going to be running a little bit longer than usual, right? Normally it's a weekend and this week it's like five days, right? It is. So July 13th through 18th. Uh, and every day we'll have a series of, of videos or there is also a component here in the park where you can do a nature walk. For instance, tomorrow at 10 a.m. Uh, you can register at our at that link, uh, friendsofthegarden.org forward slash butterfly festival to come out and do a caterpillar hunt. And so one of our horticulture specialists will lead a very small group, 10 to 15 people on a caterpillar hunt so that you can learn about the different caterpillars uh, that are native to our, our region. It sounds like a lot of fun. How are we maintaining social distancing during this? So, uh, and tonight, of course, with the, the city ordinances may change uh, where they mandate masks, um, but we're keeping distances. So if you come with a person, you can certainly um, be closer to them, but uh, you maintain that six feet distance and also here in the butterfly house, um, we limit the number of people that can come in at a time. It's definitely gonna be a butterfly uh, you know, event, unlike any other, right? 
Um, it will be. It will be very different. <laughs> is there anything else you want people to know about this event? I know there's a lot going on. Um, what can people look forward to this week? Um, really just everything butterfly and learning about the butterfly house. We still have so many people in our community who haven't been here to visit us. And so they get a kind of a, a walking tour of that in our butterfly gardens and, um, and, and learning so much about what you can do at home in your own gardens or even on your, your patio uh, to be good stewards of the pollinators in our region and, and have that love and affinity for, for butterflies that we do. Okay, and so this is going to run on the website and social media from July 13th through July 18th. Where can people go for more information about this event or um, Friends of the Garden? Uh, our website is the, the best place or come here to the Springfield Botanical Gardens. Our Botanical Center has uh, a lot of information in the lobby and in our gift shop. So you can uh, certainly learn more about that there uh, or coming to the Butterfly House and enjoying firsthand um, and seeing why we do what we do and why we're so passionate about it. Amazing. Is there anything else you want to add about the event happening this week? I think that's, that covers it. Covers it? All right. Well, Trista, thank you so much for being here today. Thank you. Have a great evening. We'll have more Ozarks tonight coming up after the break.